first and foremost, shout out to ZNX and MC3R for creating probably the first ever tool for Midnight Club 3. I'm pretty much just going to show you how to use it and do a bit of a demonstration. So this is what you'll need in the folder. So you've got the downloads from the uh, tool and then I've got the ISO for Midnight Club. So the first thing to do is to right click your Midnight Club, open it with the uh, 7-zip or any sort of extractor and copy the assets.dat into your folder. So once that's done, we're going to use this tool here, dave.py, py is python, to extract the dats folder. So I'll be using this command here to extract the contents of assets. So the easiest way to do this is if you just click here, just type in cmd, press enter, then this will open up the command prompt with the directory here. So pretty much I can just copy and paste this command and it will start extracting. This will probably take two or three minutes. Cool, so that's done. It will give you a little success message and you should see the assets folder here. So essentially in this folder you'll see all the vehicles in the game. They usually start with VP and you've pretty much just got to choose a car that you want to change the performance of. So in this scenario I'm going to choose the Eclipse, so I'll right click, copy, go back into the main folder and I will paste that here. So the same way we extracted the assets will be the same way we extract this file here. So we can just take the same um, command and then type in cmd again Then we can paste it. But in this case we'll remove assets.dat and we'll copy this, click here, paste and it will extract it for you. Now that it's been extracted, we've got the folder here and it'll have a bunch of uh, files in it. So this is essentially what makes up the car. You'll see uh, not performance parts but you know, customization, how it is the car and everything. The file we're interested in is this first one here. And that's essentially what we're going to modify. So we'll go back to the main folder. We will run performance editor.python. Then it should open up this uh, interface. So it's going to appear small, so you need to bring it up big. Once you've done that, just click File, Open. And essentially, we've got to just find, find the car. So use the folder. So here. So it'll be this file here not the underscore 01, it'll just be this file. Then click open. Now that the file's been opened, the first thing you want to do is click on base mode. So we'll click here. Then it'll start loading in all the values for the base car. So now pretty much from here you can just edit exactly what you want to edit, whether it's the nitro, the turbo, I'm pretty sure you can change the camber on the car as well if you want. Just loads of options to change basically. So I'm just going to make some random edits and then I'll show you how to save it. Cool, so that's all my values edited, so now we need to save the file, and you can do that by doing file, save, and you're going to choose the same file again, and just click save, and replace, and that file is pretty much edited, now we just need to recompile it. So in order to recompile the file, we're going to take this command here, which you'll also find in the description, and we'll open the command prompt again. And then we'll essentially paste that in, but we're not doing assets this time. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the eclipse first. So we'll go back to the command prompt, type that in, and then you want to press it again. Then dot dat. Then it will ask you if you want to replace the file. The answer is y, and that's essentially your file replaced. You want to go back to the main folder. 
Now that this file has been edited, we can put this back into your assets folder. It will ask you to replace it, you can replace it, you should have a backup as well if you need one. And now that that's done, we can use this command to compile the assets.dat folder. Again, it will ask you if you want to replace it, just press Y. And then it will start preparing the files and essentially updating the assets.dat for you. This will probably take some time, usually on my computer it will take like 2 minutes. But if your PC is slower, it's going to take longer unfortunately. Sweet, so now that's done, that's the assets filed, uh, basically burnt together. So now the last step is to use Apache to put it back into the ISO. So just run Apache, file, open, and you want to find your ISO. So here's mine. Open it. Now you'll see the files in here, so the one you want to touch is assets.dat. So you go to ISO tooled, change TOC, and this is the only box we're going to be changing here. So you need to change this number corresponding to what your ISO says on the properties. No, sorry, the assets on the properties. So you see the file size here. So you just want to copy the file size, go back to Apache and paste that in. But make sure to remove the uh, commas because they're copy and paste over two. And click update. Now that the size has been changed, we can just do ISO update selected file and then select your modified assets.dat and then just click open. And this should take a couple of minutes too. Cool, so that's done. So you can close Apache now. And yeah, that's essentially a modded performance part on a car I guess and the last thing you need to do is just test it by going into game